okay, um, now, as I was saying, uh, my thoughts of Titus Andronicus is, uh, I think it was okay. I mean, it wasn't great. There was, there was way too much, like, uh, deaths and gore and stuff in it. I mean, that was, I mean, I, I, that was just, oh, it was really over the top. You thought Macbeth or Hamlet had a lot of deaths? Well, geez, Titus Andronicus puts them in their place. I, what am I, what can I throw in there? Uh, let's, I don't know, let's, uh, get rid, let's put some of these Wands of Striking there. Um, don't think I'll be needing this as a Keyring can cast Speed Monster on itself. Nor the Wand of Undead Turning. Uh, and, um, okay. Now, uh, where was I? Okay, we've gotten these, uh, is there anything that I hear that I should mind check to see if it's cursed or not? Oh yeah, I can check all of this stuff. Hang on. Whoops, I just realized I brought grabbed all of this stuff, even the stuff that wasn't necessarily, you know, I already knew, but uh okay. Okay, let's see. What can we put in there? Uh, what can we put back in there? Okay. Okay, let's, uh... Okay, now let's see, where was I? Okay, yeah, we're heading back. I suppose it's only right to have a moment of silence for its check. Okay, moment over. I actually meant that uh, seriously, I, except it just kind of came out comedically, so um, if anyone was offended by that, I apologize. And seriously, I was trying to avoid killing um, him, it's just a Kirin. Blame the Kirin, not me. Anyway, um, where was I? Uh, well, I keep asking that. Okay, okay, on the way uh, down there, I might as well talk a bit more. Okay, Titus Andronicus. I thought it was interesting and um, decently enjoyable. I, I mean, I, I wasn't bored by it. It I, As I said, it was definitely just over the top in the violence and all. I mean, some people thought it might have been meant as a parody. Um, but again, and uh, really there aren't that many likable characters in it. I mean, so, um, I mean, like, the... Titus, I mean, the main character really isn't that much of a hero when you get down to it. I mean, I, I think he's slightly better than the uh, person he's the who's the antagonist, but wow, I mean, just... Anyway, uh, as, I, as I've been, uh, keep saying, overall, I think it's okay. It, it's, it was Shakespeare's first tragedy, and I can say it shows. This is, um, it was not uh, Shakespeare's uh, finest moment, I can tell you that. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I think it was good enough to uh, be interesting. So, uh, it's probably one of the, like, the least of his tragedies, but it's still okay, I guess. Now, um, in a lot of ways, it just... It, it reminded me of Hamlet in a lot of ways. Just, um, not quite as polished, I get Polished, I guess. I, I can describe it as a, um... A less polished version of Hamlet, I suppose. A uh, more like rough draft, sort of, in some ways. So anyway, those are my thoughts on Titus Andronicus. One thing that no one can deny, and that I stand by, that is an awesome name. I mean, Titus Andronicus! Titus Andronicus!
Okay, uh, let's see. We're going to do the quest, but first we need to uh, head back to um, the Valley of the Dead to uh, check out some of the stuff there. I want to see if um, there's any Helms of uh, Brilliance there. Actually, no, no, no. First we'll head to the quest, but we won't complete it. Then we will head to the um, Valley of the Dead, uh, get the items there, and then head back to the quest and complete it. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry that it's base the thing is I don't want to get any more artifacts because I'm still considering if I want a uh, to wish for the Mitre of holiness and the big thing is basically this if I find a uh, uh, wait hang on which one of these was the portal it was this one right um Oh, dang, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, if I find a Helm of Brilliance, I'm not going to waste a wish on the Mitre of Holiness, especially when it's not a 100% chance. I might have to wish two times, or if I'm unlucky, three times. Actually, if I'm technically, it could be a million times if I'm super unlucky, but I, I doubt that somehow. Sure, why not? I do want that uh, teleportitis to my teleport control. And now we talk to this guy who is King Arthur. Ah, Michael, we see thou hast received our summons. We are in dire need of thy prowess. But first, we must needs decide if thou art ready for this great undertaking. Why does he keep capitalizing his pronouns? I mean, does he consider himself a deity or something? Is there a verb for that? A verb for when you capitalize the pronouns of a being because it's like a deity or something? You know, like people will do if, say, like if they're talking about God or whatever. You know, they'll say he, but then capitalize the H in he. Uh, so is King Arthur trying to declare himself a deity? And, uh, wow, well, let's see, early modern English. Not to be, he's speaking, not to be confused with Middle English or Old English. Old English was what Beowulf was written in. Look it up, you will see a major difference between that and what, and this sort of thing. Middle English was what the Canterbury Tales are were written in. Again, look it up, see it, and you'll see a difference. Early Modern English was the thing Shakespeare wrote in, and Modern English is the thing I'm speaking right now. Okay, so um, I'm not entirely certain if this is actually accurate modern English because a lot of times people just use it to try to look, you know, ancient, but it doesn't really work. But, uh, so I don't know. Maybe someone who knows it better than I do can say if it is. <clears throat> ah, Michael, thou art truly ready as no knight before thee hath been. I guess none of them have been level 14. Hear now our words. As thou noticed, as thou approached Camelot Castle, a great battle hath been fought recently in these fields. Know thou that Merlin himself came to aid us here as we battled the foul Ixoth. In the midst of that battle, Ixoth struck Merlin a great blow, felling him. Then, as our forces were pressed back, Ixoth stole the magic mirror of Merlin! Wow. Um, I got really into that. We eventually turned the tide, but many, but lost many knights in doing so. Merlin was taken off by his apprentice, but hath not recovered. We have been told that so long as Ixox possesseth the magic mirror of Merlin, Merlin will not regain his health. Okay, okay, this just isn't working. This early modern English, it, it just feels gratuitous and doesn't, um, work. I, I mean... It works in Shakespeare because Shakespeare wrote in early modern English. I'm, I'm sorry. I Look, developers, I loved your game. I really like it. I'm enjoying it. But come on, really, this early modern English just sounds silly. And with that, we're starting the next part.